King Period Alex. So let Tyranitar go down and it's time to let the dog out these Fire Fangs tearing through Shadow Metagross. We're going to be able to shield once, Fire Fang farm all the way down. Welcome back to the channel. If you like your things bland and boring, this is not for you because today we are cranking that spice right up courtesy of King Peria. The Master League is probably the most dense meta of them all. We see all of around 12 Pokemon. However, today we have got a triple dark theme team. Leading the line, we're going to have that Hound from Hell, Houndu, ranked 289th on PV Poke. We've got then a Smackdown, which of course is Legacy on Godzilla, aka Tyranitar. And then we're going to take a look at Gust and Legacy Oblivion Wing, Yveltal. These battles were in the early ranks. However, we are in the early part of the season. Not everyone plays every day. I've got zero idea what to expect. So without any further ado, let's just jump into the battles. And in game one, our target has been acquired. The opponent say switches into Dragonite. And here comes Godzilla. Smackdown tearing through Dragonite. Although we do need to be mindful of the double super effective superpower. We invest that protect shield. The opponent bait us. Oof, that's rough. King Peria looking to get this Dragonite out of here. Fires off the brutal swing. The opponent invests that protect shield. King Peria not willing to go all shields down as Houndoom could get nuked with the potential Earthquake. Instead, we send in Yveltal. Yveltal commits to the full Gust Farm down. And as we're running a triple dark team, we don't really care where we see Metagross. We can see it in the back, in the front, in the middle. All three Pokemon have the ability to hit it a huge super effective damage. We fire off the Dark Pulse, force the opponent's final Protect Shield. We then look to catch the Meteor Mash onto Houndoom. And we actually choose to invest the Protect Shield. Looking at our CP, we're sub 3,000. So potentially that would have done a lot of damage. The opponent's final Pokemon is Groudon. And holy, that Flamethrower did a lot more than I was expecting. We've got no Protect Shields. Prespice Blades probably kills Houndoom and all its relatives. It's now all down to Yveltal to clean up this battle. The opponent fires off the Fire Punch. That just doesn't get the job done. Yveltal gets the full Gust Farm down. We leave with the Dark Pulse. However, this is one very healthy Metagross. Dark Pulse isn't enough to knock out, but one further gust is enough to take that game. And King Peria is off to a very quick 1-0 start, heading into the next battle. Houndoom into Rayquaza. Yikes, we're going to see the pivot into Godzilla, and the opponent answers with a Shadow Metagross. As we're running Legacy Smackdown, our quick move is resisted, but we're very quick to these Brutal Swings. Brutal Swing, forced to protect shield. Metagross fires off a charge move. King Peria elects. To let Godzilla go down and it's time to let the dog out. In comes Houndoom, Houndoom. Going to be able to shield once. Firefang farm all the way down. The opponent likely to bait, but no bait. Will be saving this opponent's fate. Houndoom leaves with a whole heap of energy. Good to go. Rayquaza, not a good matchup. However, they're so, so glassy. Back out comes Rayquaza. We fire off one Firefang. And the foul play. Foul play lands for decent neutral damage. And we pivot into Yveltal. Rayquaza gonna fire off the breaking swipe. Please don't debuff us, of course. The opponent does get that debuff. However, they have no response for Yveltal. They send out Mewtwo. And even with a lowered attack, this Mewtwo is gonna have a very tough time of dealing with our Yveltal. King Peria tanks the side strike, which is double resisted, over farms, fires off the Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse forces the opponent's final protect shield. Yveltal is still out of side strike range, but King Peria puts up his final protect shield. We look to fire off the Oblivion Wing. I'm not really sure why, as Dark Pulse would be super effective. We lose CMP, we stand the side strike damage, fire off the Oblivion Wing, debuff Oblivion Wing, probably not going to knock out. We then snipe with Houndoom. Can we withstand the Dragon Tails to reach the foul play? Who was worried? Houndoom is a Rayquaza counter confirmed. You heard it here first. GG's and thanks for playing. Where else are you going to see Houndoom taking down Rayquaza other than on a channel like this? In the next battle, another dreadful lead. Again, we say switch into Godzilla. The opponent sends out Confusion Mewtwo. Are you serious? What is going on? Tyranitar doing its best impression of a young Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Laying the smack down on Mewtwo's jabroni ass. We shield once. Smack down farm all the way down. It becomes very apparent that the opponent evidently misclicked as they should have sent out Garchomp. Being a ground type, you definitely want to send your ground type into something throwing rocks at you. However, needless to say, King Peria looking to capitalise on the opponent's misplay. Spamming out Brutal Swing after Brutal Swing. We've already forced one shield off the opponent. The opponent now chooses to double shield and we pivot back out into Houndoom. Looking to get some use out of it. The opponent fires off the Sand Tomb. That doesn't get the job done. The opponent now forced to throw one further Sand Tomb. Sand Tomb, of course, going to be lethal. 
outcomes. You have Eltor, you have Eltor going to be able to get the full gust. Farm down with the opponent, going to make one further Sand Tomb for the road. Oof, I'm not sure on that shield. The Sand Tomb itself would have done pretty much nothing, I guess. We're just looking to keep the Elf on Yveltal back out. Comes Dragonite. We fire off the Dark Pulse. I think here we should always go for the Oblivion Wings. It does hit slightly harder in neutral situations. The opponent fires off the Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw isn't lethal. We pivot back out into Godzilla. Godzilla on a sliver of HP. Gets the Smackdown farm down. And we take a very close game. GG's. In the next battle, we see another tough lead. To be honest, when you're going to run something ranked 289th on PB Pope, most leads are going to be tough. We see the pivot into Yveltal. The opponent throws a really poor timing and actually throw a crunch. Potentially looking to fish for that debuff. We withstand the damage return fire with the Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse forces the opponent's protect shield. Even with a debuff, I think Yveltal will make one further move. The opponent agree. Opting to throw a charge move and again they throw the crunch. I wonder if this thing has no Aquatel. Perhaps it's got Outrage. We pivot into Tyranitar and draw out Kyogre. Holy cow, double water. Houndoom has nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. King Period does have a 2 to 1 shield advantage. So we're wisely going to shield up the incoming Surf. Can we get the full Smackdown farm damage? It's going to be close. We bank the Brutal Swing pivot. Snipe with Houndoom. Back out comes Gyarados. Can we fire Fang farm down? We cannot. We're going to shield up what is probably an Aquatel. Nope. What the heck is that second move, trainer? I am getting very curious. Out comes Mewtwo. Okay, Houndoom's cooking. We fire off the foul play. If the opponent looks to Psycho Cut, farm us down. We'll make one further foul play. The opponent elects to throw the side strike. It's now going to be all down to Godzilla. Godzilla has the Brutal Swing bank. We fire off one smackdown. And the Brutal Swing is Brutal Swing enough to knock out. No, it's not. But one more smackdown takes that game oof that was very close moving on to the next one another rayquaza this time we pivot into yveltal these gusts tearing through rayquaza the opponent not familiar with three turn into four turn it's very awkward and we actually managed to sneak a full free gust the opponent then pivot out into mewtwo holy people have no response for yveltal mewtwo elects to throw the side strike which certainly isn't going to be lethal Yveltal always stands the damage. We are low, but the opponent not going to be able to psycho cut. Farm us down. They opt to throw side strike number two on the CMP tie. King Piria takes his two to one shield advantage and sends out Houndoom. The opponent going straight side strike all the way. This is double resisted, but I imagine it's going to hurt. Oof, we actually tanked that reasonably well. We can survive two, but it's not going to be pretty. It looks like King Piria just going to save two shields for Godzilla and Prey. Houndoom does get the full Fire Fang farm down. We leave on minimal HP. The opponent sends out Lugia. Lugia not going to appreciate this incoming foul play. Foul play goes unshielded. The Dragon Tail actually doesn't knock us out. We pivot into Tyranitar. The opponent build up some energy. Send back out Rayquaza. And Rayquaza is greeted with the Brutal Swing. Brutal Swing forces the opponent's final protect shield. King Piria needs to start shield. And we shield up the incoming break and swipe. We don't get debuff. We get the full Smackdown farm down back out. Comes Lugia and Tita is about to clean up this battle. Brutal Swing won't be lethal, but two more Smackdowns should be all she wrote. The opponent going to fire off the Sky Attack, which would survive, but why not shield? And actually one Smackdown is enough to take that game. Heading into the next battle. No, the bulky blue whale. This is dreadful. We're going to pivot out into our only real answer of Yveltal and hope to get rid of this somewhere down the line. King Piria opting to shield up the incoming Sir. The opponent then switch out again into Mewtwo. Wow. I'm scratching my head at why people keep save switching in Mewtwo. Perhaps they're thinking Mewtwo has a terrible matchup against Houndoom. However, they've also got a terrible matchup against Yveltal. Or perhaps his opponents are really, really thinking outside the box and thinking we're running triple dark so Mewtwo's just going to be shit into the entire team. Either way, we're pretty happy with this situation. We actually managed to realign our Pokemon. Out comes Metagross. Switch timers are misaligned. King Piria instantly retreats into his Houndoom and gets off some very valuable Fire Fang damage. The opponent fires off the Meteor Mash. The timer pops up back out. Comes Kyogre and Kyogre is greeted with the Foul Play. Foul Play forces the opponent's final Protect Shield. Ayavelto is far too low to do anything other than get farmed down. We're forced to bring in Tyranitar. Can Tyranitar shield once and manage to smack down farm all the way down? I think it's going to be close. We shield up the incoming surf. The opponent is now five away from the next move. 
Can we smack it down? No, we can't. But stay in school, kids. Learn to count. We catch back onto your Veltal. The opponent doesn't undercharge. We get the smackdown farm down. Leave with the brutal swing. It's going to be high metagross by metagross. GG's and thanks for playing. King Peria managing to overcome a Kyogre lead. Very impressive. In the next battle, finally a one lead. Unless the opponent's got Focus Blast. The opponent doesn't even build up to the Focus Blast. They're going for the double resisted side strike. An easy tank for Houndoom. The opponent then sends out Zerud, the core broker by Houndoom. And we're running Flamethrower. The question is, does the opponent respect the damage? Boo, Mr. Opponent. Zerud most likely runs Power Whip and Foul Play. Houndoom does resist both, but from this range, I think anything will knock us out. We just get off as much Fire Fang damage as possible and send out Yveltal. Yveltal also going to resist all charge moves, and King Piri is going to get a huge Gust Farm down. The opponent buys off the Dark Pulse. We withstand the damage, get the full Gust Farm down, and the opponent sends out that stupid Tin Can Dialga. Yveltal fires off the Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse forces a Protect Shield. King Piria looking to reach one further Dark Pulse. We managed to reach it on a sliver of HP. Dark Pulse, not the best move, but does get him down below half health. It's now all down to Godzilla to lay that smack down on the remainder of this Jabroni. BBML team, holy, the opponent YOLO, the very unnecessary Draco, then pivot out into Mewtwo. Mewtwo is greeted with the Brutal Swing. Brutal Swing doesn't knock out, which is even better for us as the opponent only going to reach the double resisted side strike. We withstand the damage, get the Smackdown farm down, back out. Comes the basic bitch Tin Can, and King Piria is going to assert dominance with the BM Stone Edge. GG's, and thanks for playing. I know bad manners plays aren't to everyone's taste. However, if you're going to see a basic bitch Tin Can, BM it whenever you get the opportunity. Another Gyarados in the lead. This one is on Waterfall, which is worse for us. However, the fact that underleveled means Tyranitar is going to far outweigh the fast move damage. We're going to shield up the incoming Aqua Tower. The opponent needs to pivot. Or we're going to get the full Smackdown farm down. I personally don't play Open Master League for the exact reason that I've also got underlevel Pokemon. It just isn't fun. The opponent now sends out Metagross. Metagross is grouted with the Brutal Swing. And Tyranitar says there's plenty more of where that came from. Fires off the second Brutal Swing. Forcing both shields off the opponent. Pretty questionable. They know we've got Houndoom. We send out Houndoom. Opponent, please pivot. We see the instant no shield deployed. The opponent send the flash cannon. Holy cow, wasn't expecting that. No, there's a charmer in the back. King Piria could be in trouble here. We're getting torn apart by the charms. Oblivion Wing, a very good move. Is Oblivion Wing enough to knock out? No, it's not, but gets the opponent incredibly low. We get the Gust farm down, back out. Comes Metagross, Metagross gets the Bullet Punch farm down. Houndoom has enough health to reach the foul play, and we're going to take that game. Am I a big fan of the Holiday Cup? Absolutely not. However, if you've got underlevel Pokemon, I think we're forced to play it. In the next battle, type advantage is with us, but the massive stat product means this is definitely going to be a losing matchup for Houndoom. We build up some energy, pivot into Tyranitar to catch the Sky Attack. Very nice play from King Piria. The opponent now send out Groudon, and this does not look great. Is that five? That definitely is not enough for Oppressor's Blades, is it? The opponent did go straight Fire Punch, which is very, very questionable. As Rock does resist fire, so if you're new to the game and you want to get better at GBL, make sure you know all your typings. You can just Google type in effectiveness and it will bring you up a nice chart telling you what move you should throw at each Pokemon. The opponent recognizes the mistake, then full send the Precipice Blades. However, one Precipice Blade would have been huge overkill. King Piria now sends out Yveltal. Yveltal going to be able to tank these Fire Punches for days. The opponent... Unfortunately makes another, which is going to get us below half health. We are going to leave with residual energy. Good to go. The opponent sends out Tyranitar. We pivot out and then we're going to concede the match as that is going to be RPS for the loss. So those were the battles with King Piria's very spicy triple dark team. Some of the battles were a bit questionable, some underlevel Pokemon, but King Piria's gameplay was on point and it was great to see a fun spicy team in the Open Master League. So if you're enjoying the content, smash that like button if you're new. Consider subscribing if you like your battles featured on my channel. A link to a battle submission form is down below. And as always, a huge thank you to everyone for watching. And I will see you all in the next one.